Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Sleepless Ninja. Let's take a look at DLSR Controller uh, made by uh, Chainfire. It's a wonderful app to control your Canon DLSR. And um, all you need is the OTG cable and your, your camera and uh, cable to connect between the two. It will prompt you to open it up and just... Or, and you can open it up and you can always set it as a default too if that's the default application. And um, it works in either orientation of the uh, horizontal plane. And you can see here, basically right now, that I can see the viewfinder. And you can I can manually control different settings. I want to control the sh shutter speed. I can control the f-stop. I can control the ISO. All very easily, all very simple, all very intuitive from a touch screen. So instead of playing with all the dials on the phone, I could be just holding my tablet very easily in the one hand and just be selecting all my settings in a very uh, natural way. So it's it's phenomenal for that. On top of that, um, you, you have a, a much bigger screen. We have this high res in it and it does take advantage of it. So you can, you can do things as autofocus. So for instance, I can move by holding down on the focus area and move that focus to where I want and then tap and then the camera will autofocus to that area and I'll just zoom into the screen a little so this can be a little bit easier to see and then let's say I wanted to autofocus over here just hold down sometimes it doesn't want to come with so there's there's you know it's in beta There we go. But it's still such a such a great tool and you can do so many things with this. And then you want to take a picture. Picture taken. It will transfer it. And now we have this wonderful picture. And uh it's really really cool. And if you want you can choose to delete it. And you, there's plenty of other options here. We can do auto balance. We can choose if we want a continuous mode or not. So all of the options that are presented on your camera, you can now do on the tablet through a touch interface, which is just wonderful. Say we wanted to take multiple pictures at the same time. We can take continuous photos and then it will just keep on doing it until I tap it out and then it will upload all of those photos and we can take a look so there's a lot of cool little details that this camera application does you also if you wanted um, can, can zoom in so you we have that ability and it can also operate as a viewer so we can view photos that are already on the camera and you can actually view the raw photos that you've taken so I have if you recall I, I had taken pictures in a prior video and there they are we have the cat and the chair but these are video but also on the disc that they didn't didn't see there's pictures that I took using the raw format which you can see takes a little bit longer. It's 20 megabytes a picture. And these raw format pictures you can use and view using this application. So this becomes a great tool for, you know, an amateur photographer or just a photographer in general um, to take photos and using a, a nice touch interface. You know, you could take a tripod and you could make a nice little mount they have seven inch screen mounts that you can just brace to your tripod and use this as your touch interface. It, it could enhance or just make photography fun um, out there for, for those, you know, you know, introduce something new, something different. So I just wanted to show you this app. There's a lot of potential behind it besides this, but I, I, there's so many different things, all the different modes on your camera. There, there's, there's a video mode as well. 
all of that's there. You can record the video. So, it's all there. You just have to go out and try it out. So definitely check out this application and let me know what you think. Thank you so much everyone. And have a wonderful day.